Let me tell you an incident that took place with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A man will mention, a man will mention a woman in front of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He speaks about how good she is in her worship. He speaks about how much she prays. He speaks about how much she fasts. He speaks about how much she donates. But then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu tells him, this woman that you just mentioned right now, she will be punished in the hellfire. Amazing. Ya Rasulullah, we just told you how much this woman prays. We just told you how much this woman fasts. We just told you how much this woman donates. We just, we just told you how much good this woman does. And Nabi Sallallahu said, yes, but she will be punished in the hellfire because she was evil and cruel to her neighbors. SubhanAllah. Prayers, fasting, donation, all these good actions. But she was cruel to her neighbors. And being cruel to your neighbor is as evil as any other major sin. And then on the other hand, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was mentioned to him, another woman, she prays normal, she fasts normal, so she does not pray a lot, she prays her prayers, she fasts her fasting, she gives her zakat, and she does, you know, average actions, uh, she does, you know, the normal average actions as a Muslim does when it comes to the ibadah. The Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, but she's going to the Jannah. Why, O Messenger of Allah? Because she is very good, and she is very well mannered to her neighbors. Subhanallah. Who thinks of that these days? You find Muslims, Islam to them is about salah, Islam to them is about fasting, Islam to them is about zakat, Islam to them is about reading the Quran Kareem. Which no doubt, this is Islam. But that's not all Islam. And then when it comes to having the good, of, the good manners, when it comes to having the good morals, when it comes to having the good ethics, you find Muslims neglecting that. We neglect that. It's like we don't need to be well-mannered. It's like we don't need to be well-behaved. It's like we don't need to have the best of akhlaq. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam with the best of his character, and that was his manners. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Indeed, and verily Muhammad, you have the best of manners and you have the best of morals. With that, my sisters, the best and the most important thing that we have in our character as living in the West is to have the best of manners. The manners of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that drew people to him and turned his enemies to be his followers and made those who used to fight him to fight with him and those who dislike him to like him and those who turned away from him to turn to him and those who looked down at him to look up at him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it was his manners it was his morals it was his ethics and we have that responsibility of having the best of manners we have the responsibility of having the best of ethics we have the responsibility of having the best of discipline